Have you ever heard of dental dry socket? No? Well, it's more common than you might think. It's a medical condition that sometimes follows the extraction of a tooth, especially a wisdom tooth. Picture this, you've just had a tooth pulled. Normally, a blood clot forms in the empty socket to shield the underlying bone and nerves, paving the way for healing. But what if that blood clot gets dislodged or dissolves too soon? That's when you get a dry socket. This condition, also known by its formal name, alveolar osteitis, can cause severe discomfort and delay the healing process. It's like an uninvited guest who crashes the party when you're just trying to recover from a dental procedure. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Let's delve deeper into what causes this condition and how it's treated. So, what exactly is dry socket or alveolar osteitis as it's also known? Well, let's delve into that. Dry socket is a somewhat common yet quite painful condition that could occur after you've had a tooth extracted, most often a pesky wisdom tooth. It's particularly associated with the removal of lower wisdom teeth. Now normally when a tooth is extracted, your body quickly gets to work, forming a blood clot in the vacant socket. This blood clot isn't just there by happenstance, it serves a crucial role in protecting the underlying bone and nerves from exposure. Think of it as a natural bandage your body creates to cover the wound, allowing it to heal undisturbed. However, in some cases, things don't quite go as planned. If this blood clot is dislodged, say by accident, or dissolves too soon before the wound has had a fair chance to heal, you're left with a dry socket. Sounds simple enough, but believe us, it's not something you'd want to experience. This premature loss of the blood clot leaves the underlying bone and nerves exposed to air, food and fluids. This exposure can lead to intense pain and discomfort, not just in the socket itself, but can also radiate to other parts of your face. It's not a pleasant experience to say the least. But why is it called a dry socket? Well, if you were to take a peek inside your mouth, which we don't recommend you do, the socket where the tooth was extracted appears dry, hence the name. It's also worth noting that dry socket isn't an immediate occurrence. It doesn't happen the moment your tooth is pulled. It typically develops a few days after the extraction, just when you think you're in the clear and the healing is underway. Now that we know what dry socket is, let's talk about its symptoms. But remember, if you suspect you're dealing with a dry socket, don't rely on Dr. Google. Always reach out to your dentist promptly for a professional evaluation and treatment. What signs should you look out for if you think you might have dry socket? Let's delve into the symptoms of this dental condition that could potentially follow a tooth extraction. The primary symptom of dry socket is severe pain. This is not your typical post-extraction discomfort. It's a pain that deepens and intensifies, often radiating to the ear on the same side as the extraction. If you've had a tooth taken out and the pain is growing rather than subsiding, it could be a sign of dry socket. Another telltale sign is bad breath. An unpleasant odor or taste may linger in your mouth, and no amount of brushing or rinsing seems to get rid of it. This is because the exposed bone and nerves in the socket can become infected, leading to this foul smell or taste. In some cases, you might even be able to see the underlying bone in the socket. Where a healing blood clot should be, you might instead see an empty space. This is a clear visual indication that something isn't right. Another symptom to watch out for is swelling and pain in the lymph nodes in your neck. This could be a sign that your body is fighting an infection, like the one that can occur in a dry socket. Symptoms of dry socket can be quite distressing, but it's important to remember that help is available. If you notice any of these signs, don't hesitate to reach out to your dentist as quickly as possible. Several factors can contribute to the risk of developing dry socket. These include trauma during extraction, pre-existing infection, poor oral hygiene and tobacco use, especially smoking. Awareness of these factors can help in early detection and prompt treatment. Remember, if you experience any of these symptoms, it's essential to contact your dentist promptly. Your dentist can clean the socket, place a medicated dressing to alleviate the pain, and provide you with instructions for at-home care. They may also prescribe pain medications to help manage the discomfort, so pay attention to your body's signals and don't ignore any pain or discomfort following a tooth extraction. It's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your oral health. But what causes dry socket in the first place? Well, there are several factors that can contribute to the development of this painful condition. Let's delve into some of the most common ones. Firstly, trauma during extraction is a significant contributor. 
If the process of removing the tooth is rough or particularly difficult, it may increase the risk of dislodging the blood clot that forms in the socket after extraction. This clot is crucial for the normal healing process, and without it, you're left with an empty socket and exposed bone and nerves, setting the stage for dry socket. Secondly, the presence of infection or bacteria in the socket can also hinder the healing process. If bacteria invade the socket, they can interfere with the clot's formation or cause it to dissolve prematurely. This is why it's so important to maintain good oral hygiene before and after your extraction. Speaking of hygiene, poor oral care post-extraction is another major cause of dry socket. After your extraction, your dentist will provide you with a set of post-operative care instructions. These might include avoiding vigorous rinsing, not using straws, and other measures designed to protect the clot and promote healing. Not following these instructions can disrupt the clot and lead to dry socket. Finally, smoking or tobacco use is a known risk factor for dry socket. The chemicals in tobacco can prevent or slow down the healing process. Plus, the act of smoking creates a suction effect that can dislodge the clot. So, if you're a smoker, it's a good idea to try and quit, or at least refrain from smoking during the healing process. So as you can see, many of the causes of dry socket are preventable. It's all about understanding the risks and taking the right steps to protect yourself. And remember, if you have any concerns or questions, your dentist is there to help. It's clear that avoiding dry socket involves careful post-operative care, so, how is dry socket treated, and more importantly, can it be prevented? Let's dive into the treatment options for this painful condition. If you suspect you're dealing with a dry socket, the first step is to get in touch with your dentist immediately. They'll typically start by cleaning the socket to remove any debris that could be causing irritation or infection. Once the socket is cleaned, your dentist will most likely place a medicated dressing or paste into the socket. This not only alleviates the pain but also encourages the healing process. The dressing may need to be replaced every few days until the socket begins to heal. In addition, your dentist may prescribe pain medication to help manage the discomfort. It's important to take these as directed and to keep your dentist informed about your pain levels. Now, let's talk about prevention. After all, the best treatment is avoiding the problem altogether, right? Prevention starts with good oral hygiene, Brushing and flossing daily can help keep your mouth clean and free of infection. Avoiding smoking or using tobacco products can significantly reduce your risk of developing dry socket. But crucially, the most important preventive measure is to follow your dentist's post-operative care instructions to the letter. These instructions are designed to protect the healing socket and prevent complications. They typically include avoiding activities that could disturb the socket, such as vigorous rinsing or using straws, and eating soft foods initially. If you do experience severe pain after a tooth extraction, don't hesitate to seek professional dental care promptly. It's better to be safe than sorry. By following your dentist's post-operative care instructions carefully, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing dry socket. It's all about taking good care of your oral health, being mindful of your actions post-extraction, and keeping open communication with your dentist. Prevention is indeed better than cure, especially when it comes to something as painful as dry socket. So now you know all about dry socket, what it is, its symptoms, causes, and how to treat and prevent it. This painful condition, known as alveolar osteitis, often follows the extraction of a tooth, particularly a lower wisdom tooth. The telltale signs include intense pain, bad breath, visible bone in the socket, and swollen, painful lymph nodes in the neck. Various factors can contribute to dry socket, including trauma during extraction, infection, poor oral hygiene, and smoking. However, with prompt attention from your dentist and careful adherence to post-operative care instructions, it can be effectively treated and even prevented. So let's keep our smiles healthy and our futures free from dry socket. Spread the word about this condition and its prevention. It's knowledge that could save someone from unnecessary pain. Remember to share this knowledge, comment, like, and subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching, and here's to a future free from dry socket.